The All Father will gift us today. What's good, Legends? It's your boy Woz, and I'm coming back with another Apex Legends video. Yesterday, Respawn released a long awaited Bloodhound trial town takeover, along with some legend buffs and permanent duos. Now, in today's video, I will be discussing some of the main stuff from the patch notes, and I have some crazy revenue gameplay. So, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new. Every like and comment helps get the channel into the recommended page. Now, I love this new event. But it can get very hectic. So if you guys don't know, the little raven birds next to Skyhook, that is Bloodhound Trails. Now if you go down there, you have three screens and you have one trial, two trial, and three trials. And every time you defeat a wave of prowlers, one door opens until you get to the third one. And in the third one, you should have a guaranteed gold shield and a guaranteed gold helmet. Now, I will say this. Be careful. Cause those prowlers strong. They real strong. And they gang up on you. But the prowlers are the least of your problems. You gotta worry about third party, fourth party, fifth party, even sixth party. Yes, I said party. Besides that, I mean it looks dope and it's fun. And I'm excited for more town takeovers. Now I know the Kraber is the legendary sniper in the game, but golly, bro, the Kraber is more dangerous than ever now. One headshot, no matter the level, shield, helmet, no matter, it doesn't matter. Headshot, one headshot, you're getting dropped. I thought it was a game. No, it is real life. You're getting dropped no matter what, okay? So I think I need to go in the uh, firing range and practice my Kraber shots because that's, I ain't gonna lie, that's ridiculous. So they reduce the amount of damage required to evolve your evil shield so blue requires 75 purple 150 and red is 400 now i have a a guess on what i think they're gonna do since they reduce the damage required i feel like they're gonna get rid of white shields completely and just replace them with evil shields because at this point it's really no point of having a white shield just take the evil shield and as you fight you get a red shield so i'm i'm that's what i'm predicting is gonna come in the near future uh, respawn if you're watching this that'd be a great idea just get rid of white shields and keep the evo and uh, when people fight boom there you go so everybody have a fair advantage that's how i see it now a lot of people been complaining about just playing on world edge and them keep bringing king's cane back as a limited time mode and that we should have um more map variety so what respawn did they introduced map rotation now this will include world edge king cane season two and king's cane after dark now, rank is going to stay original King Kane. Like, rank, it doesn't involve rank at all. So, if you play rank, it's still going to be strictly King's Kane. Now, they do have these maps on time rotation. I think World Edge is like two hours. I think uh, King's Kane Season 2 is like an hour and 30. And I think King's Kane after dark is 30 minutes. I, I think that's the time frame for them. But if not, just look on your menu. They got the little time frame at the bottom. Now, I personally think King's Kane after dark should go. I don't think many people like King Kane after dark because you can't really see anything. I mean, it's, it was cool for the Halloween event, but as far as like a permanent map rotation, I don't think King's Kane after dark should be in there. Take it out, bring it back um, for Halloween. Simple. That's how I feel. Now, when Revenant came out, the hype for Revenant was crazy. We all thought he was going to be this OP fire legend, and then he came out being a scrub. You feel me? So, Respawn says, player feedback that Revenant wasn't feeling viable enough has been loud and clear, and the game data showed the same. Our goal is to bring his effectiveness up to parity with other legends. Now, I'm, I'm going to go back to game data. Game data showed the same. You know what that means? He was butt. Nobody was picking him. That bud probably didn't even get, out of a whole 24 hours, Revenant probably got picked probably, I'll say, 5,000 times, if that, compared to probably the 20, 30, 40, 50 million times by, by every other legend on the game. Because Revenant was bookie. But now Revenant, Revenant nice. So his silence ability, they increased the duration of the effect from 10 seconds to 20. His 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 silencer now takes away Gibraltar gun shield. Thank you. Something to get rid of that freaking gun shield. Um, the duration of the area also increased from five seconds to ten seconds. And now he has two charges, kind of like Bangalore's um smoke grenade. 
and uh, his death totem. Thank God they did this. Characters are now respawn with 50 health or whatever health they had when they activated if lower. By that, it means if you hopped on the totem at 30 health, when you die, you're going to come back full shield, 30 health. You're not going to get bumped up to 50. Now, if you go full health after a fight, you die, you're going to come back 50. Shield and 50. So, me, I like this. And uh, in the gameplay, you'll see later, you will see that uh, I actually used this and it helped me get a kill and it helped me in a gunfight. So, uh, yeah. Oh, they also removed low profile from Revenant. Revenant isn't the only person to get some love in this update. Lifeline gets a new secondary passive. Lifeline can access secret compartments with more loot on blue bins. Now, blue bins are placed with the, random, the regular orange bins. They're supposed to be rare and they have a secondary compartment that only Lifeline can open up. Now, this secondary compartment will contain will always contain some mixture of health items, weapon attachments, and knockdown shields. Now, I played a few games with Lifeline just to open these compartments. And I gotta say, this is this trash. That loot is trash. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it at all. Now, I think they can fix it by making at least the lowest tier blue. You feel me? Like, if the lowest tier is blue, at least it's worth having a secret compartment. But if I open up the secret compartment and I get a level one knockdown shield and two syringes, eh, 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 it's still not going to make me want to play Lifeline anymore. So especially when Gibby can do everything better and I can just kill somebody and take their loot from, and that they went and got themselves. Now, that's just my opinion. Respond if you ever see this. Bump it up to at least blue and then we can go from there. Wraith got nerfed again. So, Rave portals will now disappear after 4 seconds if both ends are outside the circle. This change will made to combat players exploiting the portal to avoid taking damage outside the ring. Now, if you guys don't know what that is, a lot of people will make a portal and they will just bounce between the portal. And if they keep bouncing between the portal, they won't take damage. Now, I haven't seen many people do it, but it clearly must be a crazy problem. I mean... If Respawn has had to patch this. So, I mean, I'm sorry, Wraith Mains, but you get nerfed again. Now, that's all the big stuff in the patch notes. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Uh, yeah, and I hope to see you guys at the end of the video and in the comment section. I want to apologize for the delay in the video. Um, my Revenant gameplay audio was off sync from the video. And um, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to make it work. So I'll just cut the video here and I'll drop my Revenant video later whenever I can figure out how to fix the audio. Because it was a crazy great game. Uh, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you are new, grind to 7K and I'll see you guys in the next video.